so the, the Safer at Home order is our, is our biggest intervention that really affects the whole community, the whole state. Safer at Home means we want to reduce the number of people who come into contact so the virus doesn't spread as much without us knowing it. But when we do identify individuals who have coronavirus infection, quarantine and isolation, those are the two biggest public health tools that we have to prevent small outbreaks from becoming big outbreaks. So isolation is what we say um, when someone is, is ill with COVID-19, we need to isolate them, we need to keep them safely separated from other people so they don't transmit the virus. What quarantine means is among people who have been exposed to someone with the disease but haven't yet, don't yet have any illness, we need them to remain separated from, physically separated from other people so that in case they develop symptoms of the disease or if they develop the illness without a lot of symptoms, they're not spreading it. So the th important thing about quarantine is that number one, it's for people who don't have symptoms but who have been exposed to a person. And the second is that it's not forever. So it's, it's two weeks. And that's the amount of time that we think is the safety, the, the period where someone who might become exposed to the virus would develop symptoms. So, so really, as we, get, as we get into the specific cases where someone is a household member or someone have been in close contact with in the workplace who has been exposed, quarantine is the, really the fundamental public health strategy to keep them separated from other people so then they don't spread to other people. So that's, um, that's a, a good reminder of what, what our tools are at the local level when we do have cases. Mm -hmm.